All right, this is sure to get some people fired up. Today in our Rules of the Road series, we are breaking down the correct way to merge with traffic. It seems like some Idaho drivers don't know how, so we think this might be useful. Our Aspen Shumpert spoke with experts about how to merge properly and safely. She is live in Boise for us. Aspen, what can you tell us? Yeah, Morgan, merging can be nerve-wracking nerve and tricky if everyone's not working together. You can see some cars were just merging ahead on the freeway. But what drivers don't know is there are actually color-coded commands to help guide you through it. So you see your, your uh, yellow line right there, that means you gotta step on the gas to try to get up to speed. If you look down to the left of any on-ramp on the freeway, you'll see a sandwich of colors. The three colors indicate where cars enter the on-ramp, the acceleration zone, and the merging area. On the left side of the road, um, it starts out as white, then it turns yellow in the acceleration lane, and when it turns white again, this is where we put our blinker on, and we have to start merging. If freeway traffic is light, then merging should be no problem. Cars on the freeway have the right-of-way, and it's the merger's responsibility to try and merge with freeway drivers. But when there's traffic, cars on the freeway need to allow merging cars in. I was trying to merge, and like there was traffic all the way through the merging lane, and like no one would let me in. If someone lets me on, um, I'll actually give a little prayer and ask the Lord to bless them and give them a calm day. And, and similarly, if I'm in the that position, I always try to, to let people in. But merging isn't just for getting onto freeways. Merging also happens on city streets. These roads don't have color-coded commands. There's definitely occasions where I have to kind of maneuver my way in and it feels a little bit um, out of sync a little bit. You could encounter a situation where the lane you're traveling in closes ahead and you'll need to get over into the open lane. These situations are known as zipper merging. Idaho Transportation Department suggests to keep traffic moving, you should move over into the open lane at the point of merge. That's when it's considered your turn to get over. Idaho Driving School says if drivers don't let merging cars in, that's where we start to see traffic flow issues. Morgan, it's best if everyone is on the same page when it comes to merging. Yes, absolutely can make for a very stressful situation. Aspen, thank you. Tomorrow, we are talking about highway rules and answer legally. How fast can you go in order to pass someone? That's tomorrow.